hey guys welcome back welcome back to my channel so today guys i don't want to make i don't want to make a sitting down video i just want to hold the camera and just place it in my face uh, because i just want to make it this quick quick it's just um just one of the story that i want to share it out there because it's just my childhood memory whereby i remember i offered god i offered god um uh, bread and tea yes bread and tea so I'm, I'm i'm going to make this story because it's, it's very funny i i i remember whenever i'm just like uh, remembering how far i have come with god i always share that story and i just want to share it with you my people so for me i grew up with my grandmother and every sunday we used to go to church like every sunday you have to go to church and i used to love it i was just that child that loves going to church so now um i remember that i i i grew up like i don't know if it's my personality that i love to learn and i'm someone who loves to hear stories and see the first priority maybe as we we were kids uh, when we were going to church, the first priority is that uh, when the church is out, you are going to enjoy some snacks, some fat cakes, and so on. But up, but for me, it was my first priority, right? But after all, when I go to church, really, I used to pay attention. I will, I will, I will really hear what the pastor is saying. Those encouragement, those just... Um, telling it to be respectful so for me i grew up with uh, the, the 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 fear of god i can really say that because i will hear that the pastor was saying this respect elders everybody who is elder than you respect them then i i i just grew up with that i know i made mistake in my life but honestly i grew up with the the fear of god yes even though I have made a mistake in my life. So I, I really, so, so for, for every Sunday we go to church, and this is just to say that even though the Holy Spirit was somehow, um, yeah, but I, I used to take the word of God, which is, yeah. And to, to even to back up this, I will remember that I was a child, right? But I used to read the Bible. I remember I'm the first one to hold a Bible in my household. And most of the people that are in my household that have Bibles, I give them to I give it to them. But I have Bibles, but I never remember buying any Bible. And I want to start buying my own Bibles now. So I'll just be so attached to the Bible whereby I used to read the Bible. Maybe you would just give me a, a, a Bible. And I'll be reading. And maybe for you will say, ah. So this person will read the Bible and you don't, so they will just offer it to me. That's how I used to get Bibles, really. I, I maybe have hold of four Bibles or five Bibles. I, I, I can't recall. And I remember, I remember I, uh, that time, I, even when I was at school, uh, when kids are going for, maybe you are going to the section in the library and maybe you go, you go to this kind of story, those fiction or how would you call non-fictions, for me, I go to the section of the Bible. I remember I took maybe seven books. Those are, they are kind of story, but they are sharing the stories of from the beginning. Abraham, Moses, Elijah. I just read them from. Yeah, I I get to know that stories. Those stories from those kind of of things. Now I remember we went to church that one of the good Sunday, and then um, the pastor was teaching that. Abraham gave up his son Isaac. So for you, give everything to God. Now, I remember for me that good day, uh, I heard the preaching, so it was now Monday for us to go to, to school. So this time I was in kindergarten, just here that I was in kindergarten, that very good year. I was just in kindergarten. So, so what I did is um, I, 
so my grandmother would always give me something to go with food at school mass. So that day I was carrying tea and bread and I think our traditional bread or shingome. So I, but I think I was six years or seven years, if I can remember, because I, if I can recall, because I was in kindergarten. So now, <laughs> it's very funny. So now I'm walking, going to school. I remember that that time, most of most of my the people that I grew up, they were they used to go to the other school, to the secondary school, like to the combined school. Yes, for me, I was just going to the kindergarten because for me, school started like not early but later. So the people of my age they went far after me because I was staying with one of my grandmother that I think does not believe in school. So that day then I went, I was going to school. I was so happy because I was carrying this food and tea. I was so happy, like, oh my God, tea was, uh, I was just so happy. And I was just singing and dancing. And then I was like, God, that would like me speak in my, in my native language, Karunge, Tambo, Tambo Mbaroto, Tambo Te. And I was like, God, get this bread, get this, uh, the, get this tea. And I've been waiting, I'm, I'm closing my eyes, I've been waiting to God to take. God, get, please get, you don't want. And I, I couldn't, like, I could sense that things are still in my hand, like, God, you don't want to get my, my bread, you don't want me to give you my tea, and then you said we must give you everything that we have. Oh my God, it was very funny. It was really, really funny. But that happens, see, to a kid of seven years or six years. And just to hear the pastor preaching and you put it, you recall it that we must give God every, anything that we, or we must sacrifice anything that we have to God. It, it, whenever I remember that, I, I, just, I just say God really have been with me for a very long time. That is all I can say. Like, because for someone, God did not start with us um, when we grew up. No, God has been just knocking, knocking. Um, but it, though that time, there was, we were not really this Holy Spirit. Maybe even the pastor that was preaching, I think Holy Spirit, was, it's not like now in revival. Even if you take your kid there, the kid really know what they are doing because the Holy Spirit does not have age. So yeah, that was my story. I was offering God um, bread and tea. And like for now, we have to offer uh, to sacrifice ourselves. We have to really sacrifice even our families. The Bible said, if you want to, to follow Jesus, forget about your family. Forget about even yourself and carry your cross. Yeah, and for me, by the Spirit of God, by the mercy of God, I'm willing, willing, if he says, let's go, my God, we're going to carry that cross, yes. And this story, I just want to wrap it up that um, really Abraham sacrificed his son. He was being texted by God to sacrifice his son Isaac because he loved him so much. Then God was testing his faith that to see if Abraham would really give up his son for him. Because after all things that we love, make sure God is first in our lives. After all, everything that you own, that you love your husband, God must come first in our lives. Yes. And everything that we own, it must be to the glory of God. It must be to the, do not be like a foolish rich man, a rich man that said, ah, I have worked my soul, you have walked, you can eat as much as you want. And that very night, God says, you know what? You wicked man, today I am in need of your soul. He died and all that he owned, where did it go? He went to perish and whatever he owned while he was here, it went to other people. So everything that we own, it must be to the glory of God. And nothing must come first before God. That is why if God says leave that job, he will be able to say, yes, I'll leave that job. But if your job comes before God first, 
then you cannot. Yes, I hope you have enjoyed my story. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Do not uh, forget to like this video. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.